you are welcome back to our tutorial in this video I'm going to be explaining to us how we perform some post docking analysis okay after you must have finished your docking studies you've generated your results your different binding energies how do you interpret them how do you visualize them in different formats that are easily understandable such as the 2d interactions the 3d view or space view and the rest okay in this video i'm going to be explaining that and for the sake of this tutorial i'll be using discovery studio okay visualizer as my tool you can use several other computational biology tools such as primal and the rest even online and offline servers you can use that okay but for this i will just use discovery studio and to do this i will simply go to my file and load in my results okay i'll go to my file Go to open and it will take me to where my documents are okay this is my document on the desktop okay if i go to my desktop this is the folder where i have my results or all that i've been working with or doc with in a previous video okay i'll simply open it okay and this is what i have but as you can see this is all my results okay but i still have some other files inside here but couldn't show so I'll simply go to all supported file and put it in what all okay and once I click that every other of my file will what will appear here okay then I my result as I showed us appeared in legal all result okay it appeared in legal all because I saved it as legal all in my config file in our previous videos okay and your result will always appear in PDBQT format after molecular docking because I used Autodox Vina, okay, to talk. Autodox Vina will generate a result in what? In PDBQT format. So I will simply click on it and then open it. Okay, as you can see, uh, my result has opened here, okay? Uh, let me quickly change the background to white for clearer visualization. Okay, I'll change this to white. Okay. And then I will change my my mouse mode to rotate so that I can easily rotate my ligand. Okay, so this is what I have. Okay, as you can see, I have by the left side I have different conformations of this my ligand generated at the cost of the docking. The docking process will always occur in such a way that the the the, the two will generate different conformations of your ligand interacting with your protein. So that after your docking process, you will analyze the result and see how the interactions are with the different conformation and know the one that gives you the best interaction and energy. Okay, so these are the different conformation with different binding energies we are going to see, but they are all in PDBQT format now. So what I do, I'll first of all convert them to PDB format. Okay, then before inserting them into my protein and visualizing the world, the interaction. To do this, I will simply go, this is the first interaction, the first confirmation, this is the second one, this is the third one. As you keep clicking, it keeps changing, okay, to the different word confirmations. So I will save the first one. To save the first confirmation in a PDB file, you simply go to, click on it, and go to File, and go to Save As, okay. I will save this as Confirmation 1, Confirmation one okay and then under it i'm not saving it as a discovery studio it has to be in what in pdb word format which is what protein data bank file so i will click on it and then it will take me to my folder this is my docking tutorial folder if it didn't take you to your folder make sure you navigate to your folder before saving it so that all will be in the same place so i'll simply click on what save i've saved my first confirmation now let me save the second confirmation okay then I'll go to my file, I'll go to save as, okay, and then I will type this, title this confirmation 2, okay, I'll still change the file type to what, PDB format, okay, and then I'll hit on save. I've saved about two, you can save all of them and later check the interaction. So, for the sake of this, I will just make use of this first two. So, what do I do next? I will close this, I'm done with this, I can complete it later. So I will go and load my protein now in my file and then open it. Then I will search for my protein. This is 
clean protein, okay? Don't open the, pro the protein you have in PDBQT. If I go to all here, I will see all my protein, all my results, okay? You have another protein in what in PDBQT format, which is this. Don't open this. This uh, Discovery Studio will not open it. Don't open this here. So what you open is your normal protein, the one you just cleaned, okay? I titled my own clean protein because I have removed water, removed the tunnel ligand and the rest, okay? So simply click on it and open it. Okay, it has opened. This is my protein. As you can see, let me also change the background to white. I love working with white backgrounds. Okay, so this is what I have. I will change this to white. Okay, I've got it. Look at my protein. So what do I do next? I've already converted two of my ligand conformation into PDB5. So what I do is to insert them into my protein and visualize the interaction. So to insert the first one, I'll go to file. This time, I'll use insert form, okay? No longer open, I'll use insert form. And then I'll insert from file, okay? And then I'll look for the protein, the ligand. I saved it as confirmation one. It's under my tutorial, my docking tutorial. If it's not here, navigate to your file. So this is confirmation one. I'll click on it. It's either I double click or I click once and what? Open it, okay? It will insert the ligand, as you can see. It has inserted the ligand. Look at the ligand inside the, 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 the protein now. Look at the ligand here. Okay? So what do I do to see the 2D diagram? Okay? I'll simply come towards your left side, which is here. You see different options you can work with as re with respect to this. So what do I do? I will generate the 2D diagram. Second to the last, you show you see show 2D diagram. So I'll simply what, click on it. Okay, if I click on it, it will generate my 2D diagram. Look at it. It has generated my 2D diagram, okay? This is the interaction at the active sites with respect to this particular conformation, okay? These different colors represent different bonds, okay? As you can see, this is van der Waal. This is pi anion, as you can see from the colors, okay? So I've generated this. To save this, I'll simply go to my file, okay? Go to save as, okay, and then I'll title this to the diagram one, okay, and then I will save it. It's in my docking tutorial folder, so I, it's fine. I can save it as an image file, okay. I'll save this. Then this will pop out for me, yes. I will just click OK. Just leave it at the default setup, okay, and I'll save this. Then I can close this. To insert another one, you must come this way and delete this one you have already inserted by using your delete button on your keyboard. Then to insert the second one, I will still go to my file, go to insert from, and insert from file. Then this time is now confirmation 2. I will click on confirmation 2 and then I will open it. Okay? You can see my confirmation 2 has been inserted also into my active site. Okay? So what's the interaction like? I will generate it through my word my 2d diagram okay this is what i have okay as you can see this second confirmation involved a hydrogen bond here this is a conventional hydrogen bond which is one of the strongest hydrogen bond in 2d diagram display okay the, the interaction with the highest hydrogen bonds at the active site gives you a better and more stable confirmation okay we always, we always choose that with preference to others also while saving the, the result here, make sure this particular page is highlighted. As you can see, you have up to two pages here. Okay? If I click on this page, this page will be highlighted with blue. Can you see that? If I click here, here will be highlighted with blue. If I click on this and I want to save this, it's not possible. I'll be saving this. So make sure you are clicked here. This is highlighted before you save this as your image. So with this, I can simply go to my file and go to save as. Okay? I'll title this as 2D Diagram 2. Okay, I've generated the second one is in image file. Look at the first one. So I'll just save it. Okay, this thing will pop out. I'll say, okay, this is the default setup. I'll say fine. Okay, I've saved this. So I've been able to save the first one and the second one. So this is how we generate our 2D diagrams from our docking result. Okay. 
in our next video i'm going to be showing us how we generate 3d diagrams or space view or surface view and whatever view of your result you want to display for a better interpretation of what you've just done thank you and see you in the next video